Tukivuka mpaka kuelekea Marekani baadhi ya raia wa Haiti wamefanya maandamano nje ya ubalozi wa Kenya jini New York Marekani kudhihirisha pingamizi lao kwa misheni ya polisi wa Kenya katika taifa lao makumi ya waandamanaji waliokuwa wamebeba mabango walikashifu Kenya wakisema inatumiwa kama kikaraguzi cha Marekani katika mzozo wa Haiti waandamanaji hao walisema Marekani inahusika moja kwa moja katika maasi ya Haiti kwa kutokomesha ulanguzi wa silaha kutoka taifa hilo kwenda Haiti kwa makundi ya waasi na magenge ya wahalifu all around the world to stand up together and lock arms in the spirit of pan-Africanism. This is the 10th time in 30 years that they've invaded Haiti. And every time that they invade something bad happens. In 2004 when they invaded Haiti, 8,000 people were massacred, 35,000 children were raped. And on top of that, countless and of tens of thousands of children were human trafficked through fake orphanages. The UN is not there to help the people fight the gangs. They are there to keep the people from organizing and, uh, and getting Aya Oli out. That's why he's asking for them to come so that he can maintain his power. If the United States wanted to, they could stop the weapons from going into Haiti. They could put an embargo on Cuba and stop Cuba from getting basic needs. They could stop Haiti from getting weapons. They control all the ports. It's the wealthy people in Haiti that control the ports and the guns are coming through the ports. Who do, whose interest do the wealthy people represent? The people of Haiti or that of the United States? Two plus two equals four. This is easy math. U.S. Papel, Kenya, Shema New, William Muto, U.S.